What's crack the and candle crew? This is your main man, Quinn Stefan, coming at you with episode 35 of our Pokemon Insurgents Egg Lock. And last episode, we made it into this library right here. We evolved our clam pearl into a nice little Gorbis. We hatched an egg. We got an encounter. It was a Litwick. We were hype. I was hype at least. Maybe you were hype. Maybe not. Maybe you thought it was dumb. I don't know. But I don't care. Because Litwick is awesome. So let's get a party update. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Let's do it real quick. Not like, not like real quick, but like quick enough. Just the, the right amount of quickness. Like a quick attack, but not like, not like an extreme speed. You know what I'm saying? So we got Alexa here, level 49, Pidgeot, holding the amulet coin with fan attack, wing attack, return, and freeze, oh, freezer burn. That ice type physical attack with 70 base power and 100% accuracy. We made that move last episode, if you didn't see it. And then we got Dragonstone at level 46, Delta Avalug, holding the Focus Sash, Skull Bash, Stone Edge, Bite, and Dragon Brush. And then we got Weed Wizard at level 48, Breloom, with holding the Toxic Orb, with Seed Bomb, Mega Drain, Sky Uppercut, and Leech Seed. And then we've got Android at level 48, Bronzor, with the Leftovers, with Confused Ray, Extra Sensory, Payback, and Gyro Ball. And then we've got Perlin, who needs to be holding the Experience Share. Dang it, I forgot to do that last episode. With Muddy Water, Mud, mud Sport, Iron Defense, and Whirlpool. And then this little why not named egg your name's egg still all right the splash charm uncorn pound whatever shadow tag with what kind of a nature minus speed plus special attack that's either timid or jolly i can't remember i think it's timid i don't know someone will tell me in the comment section maybe if you guys love me maybe not but uh let's go ahead and give this little perlin this experience share because you need some experience to be shared towards you. You need that a lot, actually. So, uh, why did I go into back? Because I wanted to heal up. I knew what I wanted to do, I just didn't know how to do it. If that makes any kind of sense, probably not. But Dragonstone, you need to get some levels. So we're going to try to get Alexa to level 50, and then we're going to swap, swap out, and, uh, okay, story. Are we all here? You see that glow over in the back? That's the orb that suddenly ha that supposedly has to do with the prophecy. It seems like a load of rubbish in my opinion. I doubt there was e even was a prophecy. It's probably just a legend. But anyways, go ahead, get this over with. Slowly walk intensely towards it. Slowly walk intensely towards it. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your Sansa. Shake your Sansa. Who dares wake me? But what was that? What's happening? This this has never happened before. It's so good to be awake again. Who do we have here, house guests? If you're after the prophecy, you'll need to work harder than that. That's right. I'm the one who wrote it long ago. But you're dead wrong if you think I'll just tell you. What the buns? Uh... I was the prophet of Arceus and the Oracle of Delphox. Delphox? Why Delphox? I've been preaching since before Hoenn was created. If you want to know the secret of the future, you'll have to take it by force. Why? Oh no, this guy's gonna be so good. He's gonna be like a baller. How many pokes? Five? Ancient Oracle question mark would like to battle. What do you got, a clay doll? Okay, we've got a nice type attack for that. Don't self-destruct, I will cry if you self-destruct. Power split, share the power with its target. I forget what that does. Okay, I, I saw the S happen and I thought he self-destructed and I got terrified. Okay, so you're gonna have ghost Pokemon, most likely. Like ghost and psychic types, that kind of thing. I used to always think Claydol was a ghost type, but we got through the Claydol, we're level 50. I'm trying to learn Tailwind, um, nah, we're good. We're good. Perlin. Berlin! Delphox. Psychic fire. Dragonstone with Stone Edge might work out, but I, you're a special attacker, I'm pretty sure. And Dragonstone's special attack is Diddly Bubkiss. So we're gonna stay in with Alexa. Level 50. Calm the fluke down. Yeah, get hurt. Fan attacker return. Fan attack probably. Fan attack probably. Fan attack probably. Fan attack. Fan attack. Eat it up. Eat it up. Eat it up, Alexa. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure you're gonna go down. But do I risk said biscuit? I do not risk said biscuit. We'll let you take another uh, hit from the sandstorm, and then we'll safely. You big dog. Do you have an ice beam for me? Is that what you're trying to do here? I'm gonna go into Weed Wizard. But if there's an ice beam coming, Weed Wizard's not gonna like it either. But Weed Wizard, let's go. We're gonna least seize you because you're a fat little nard grind. As long as I'm up above half, I'm good. If I get below half, then uh, then that's where we have a problem. But let's let's leech seed. Get all the recovery going. Ominous Wind, are you serious right now? Is that what you're gonna try to do? You're gonna try to get boosts on me? That like, okay. The combination of the Sleech Seed and my uh, Toxic Orb just completely disregarded that Ominous Wind. That's that's great. That's, oh, I love that. Captivate, what does that do? We're gonna find out what it does. I feel like it lowers something. If it is the opposite gender of the user, the target has charmed into lo harshly lowering its special attack. Wow. That's interesting. But we're not going to learn it. Delphox. Makes sense. So Alexa's going to come through. Alexa's going to come through. And I guess we're going to find out whether or not I could have fainted back before. That's a big difference because he switched out, but just, uh, just for knowledge of whether or not I would have taken it out. I would have taken it out. So that's good. Perlin. Aegislash. What do we have for you, Aegislash? Your Steel Ghost. What do we have for an Aegislash? I guess I'll stay in and fan attack? I think it's only neutral though. Or you probably don't have you probably have a fighting type attack, maybe I don't know. Sacred sword? Secret sword? I forget which one you get. Probably both, because you're a sword, so you should probably get both. Uh, but we're going to fan attack you. King's shield. Definitely should have saw that coming. So this is gonna diddly buff this if you're in your shield. Holy goodness! What did you do? You swords danced. But, okay. My headphones just... Okay, I don't understand you, by the way. Hi again! Stop. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh my gosh. My headphones just erupted into my ears. That was terrible. We have a Mega Bonnet on the field. We got the zippers over here. Hopefully we can take you out. Probably not though, because your defense probably goes up. Snatch. You're gonna fan attack me. Is it stab for you? Not scary if it is. Taken out anyway. Sweet. That's great. Oh my gosh. My ear. My ear lobes. Uh, I mean my <laughs> not my ear lobes. <laughs> my ear. What are they called? Eardrums. I almost said earballs, like eyeballs, but ears. Goodness gracious. Age of slash. So. So I think it's a three. No, it's a four hit. Mm. It's unfortunate. Just don't sword dance. Don't scare me like that. We're going to anyway. What do you have for me, though? I feel like a plus two fighting type, like Sacred Sword or something, would definitely hurt a lot. Oh, gosh. Aerial Ace. That's not Stab. That's not Stab, Alexa. Eat it up! Yep, sh Shadow Sneak wouldn't matter. Take him out. Sweetness. We made it through. When Age of Slash stance changes, I get terrified inside. Because it's like, I'm a defensive wall. And then he's like, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> but anyway, this guy, dot dot dot. Quinn got 10,000 and two. Dude, that amulet coin coming clutch. Holy goodness. Dot 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 dot. Heh, not bad. Alright, I'll spill the beans. This is gonna suck doing this voice. This prophecy has been misunderstood many, many times. Even the cult leaders have never heard the correct version. 
Wait, so they don't know what the real prophecy says? That's right. I'm not going to read read to you the entire thing. It's a terrible poem that's easy, easy to misinterpret. And I don't want that. And I don't want to be that oracle, you know. Hopefully you're ready. Ahem. The first thing that... I'm going to change his voice to less raspy because my voice is going to be dead if I read this whole thing. The first thing that predicted... The first thing predicted was the, appear, the emergence of a hero chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, this hero will succeed. Okay. Undefeated in Torin, they'll move on. Victorious. The last secret... Dang it. I skipped it. That in the end... The hero will join the Infernal Cult and betray their friends. That's basic. Wait, wait. One of us is going to join the Infernal Cult? Yeah, what? You can't leave us with that? Who's the hero? How can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. He knows her name. Does that mean it's her? Because he knows? And he's, a, he's the Oracle? Well, you can't say he doesn't have a flair for the dramatic. This reminds me what author L. Frank ba Baum did when introducing- Oh, shut up! How can you stay so calm? We were just told that one of us is a traitor. This isn't the time to joke around. Well, he did say the, the you'll- that- he did say the you'll- that you'll- typo- that you'll get rid of the cults, right? I'm a librarian. As prophecies go, I've heard far worse. Possibly nobody knows about this, right? You can use that to your advantage. But anyways, people are something I skip text all the time for me at the front desk, so I need to head back. Let me know if you need any more help. Well, with whatever library stuff I can help with. See you around, heroes. This guy's just chill. There's no... I can't hear anything. I hope there's audio for you guys. Come on. Why does everything have to not work for me? Oh, well. Nora, listen. Don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic! Damien, we just got told we were going to lose! People are going to die! Worrying about this isn't going to help. We need to work together. If we're going to let this make... what? If we're going to let this make us turn on each other, we might as well give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien? You know, if I were an infernal cultist in disguise, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about tact, do you? Not, mister. I just ran my mouth in front of the cultists and got kidnapped in a garbage dump. Jeez. Shots. Nora, please stop. You know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. Nora, calm down. I I'm going now. See what you do, Nora. I'll see you in Sonata City, Quinn. There's a gym there. And we'll need the badge in order to dive. You just... <sighs> Nora. What? Why did I say all of that? I don't know. I don't know what came over me. I feel awful. I'm going to apologize. Good. I really hope I didn't hurt him. I can't lose somebody else. Damien, wait up! Gosh, people. Just nonchalantly making other people feel like poop nuggets. Oh, we're uh, we're using that escape rope right now. I just said poop nugget. That's... Why do I have a girlfriend? I don't know. It just happened. Can't use it here. Why would you give me an escape rope and like act like I could use it and be like, hey, here's an escape rope so that you can escape using this rope from this library and then I go to escape rope using the rope with the library to get out of it and it says I can't escape. That's Nard. That is Bubkiss. Diddly Bubkiss. Got away safely. You better get away safely. I'm using a rappel. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Ranting is so much fun. Um. Okay. Guess not. I'm just gonna have to hope and pray that we don't run into any um stray Pokemon. Got it. Bars for days. Oh man, so close. Inga. Okay, I was kind of scared I wouldn't escape. Cause Gengar's a little fast, little bugger. Dang it! Bayonet. Every, every, like... These are all, like, fu fully evolved Pokemon, too. Jeez, man. Where am I going? Mm, get me out of there. Huh. Yes. So there shouldn't be any more Pokemon in here. Because this doesn't have any wild encounters, does it? I don't think so. I think we're supposed to go one more over, and then we go downwards. 
Downwards. Downwards we go. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Libraries. But now we can hatch an egg. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. But uh, let's go over the battle verse today and the question today before we do that, or as we do it. Um, I'm going to go slowly so we can. So battle verse today is going to be Philippians 2.5. And wait a second. Hold on. I realized that our audio uh, for this background noises is so loud. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that. I'm going to bring it way down because it was crazy lo loud. So let's... Uh, na -na 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 60. All right, hopefully that's better. Maybe it's just really low now. I don't know. But in the past four episodes, it was really loud. Well, verse of the day is going to be Philippians 2.5. That says, In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. So, that statement, um, that, those, that group of verses, is basically talking about how Christ was God. He had every right to come down with a ruling hand and just start wrecking shop on people and being the king of the world and just destroying everyone that opposes him. But he didn't. He took on the mindset of a servant and came to serve us in turn that we could serve him later on. And so that's a really good, I think it's a really good encouragement to um, not only like be serving of others, but to like have everyone else on your mind before yourself and to be a selfless server just like Christ selflessly served us. So yeah, there's the Bible verse of the day, uh, Philippians 2, 5. And so let's grab that Litwick, flame body. Flame body. Uh, we got a three, by the way. We got a three to start it off. That Delta Badoo is really cool. Three and six. Whoop, six. We got Yang. Yang. What is this gonna be? Let me get rid of this scrub nugget. I call everything nuggets. It's ridiculous. I need to stop that. On deck, you're never gonna get used. I might as well just put you in the death box. But you're not dead, so I'm not gonna do that to you. Cause that'd be mean. But let's get this hatch. Huh? What is Yang? What is that? I know that cry. I'm terrible at getting guessing cries. What is what is that? Oh Yama. I like Yamas. I almost said Yama, like I don't know why. Like it once came to my mind, like, hey. Could be a Yama. I don't know why I thought that, but Sonic Boom. Nah, we're too we're too high level to learn Sonic Boom. Detect. We might we might need a detect every now and then. We'll get rid of Double Team. Are you Speed Boost? That'd be nice. Super Sonic. How do you evolve into Yam Mega? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a trade evolution. I don't know. Uproar. That's a good move. I really like Uproar a lot. By the just in case you were wondering. We'll get rid of Whirlwind. We'll get rid of Whirlwind. Pursuit. Okay. We could use a Pursuit. Uh, I think we'll get rid of Uproar for Pursuit. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm terrible at deciding what moves to keep and what moves not to keep. But, like, we have a lot of normal moves. So, like, I, I kind of wanted to get a diverse move. So, let's see Yang. Let's see what Yang's working with. Life Orbed Yang with Compound Eyes with a minus attack or minus special defense plus attack nature. So you can be a mixed attacker. That's, uh, that's pretty nifty. We're going to go ahead and box you though because we are not in need of uh, a flying bug type. We're just not in need of one of those. Now, I was talking about how I needed ice coverage. I got this coach here. But like, do I really want it? Do I really want it? Ooh. I don't know. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know. Sorry, I just had to do a little quick note jot down. I forgot to do some things earlier. Um, I think... Mm, I just... Uh, I don't know. I want to use... I want to put something else on my team. It's a fire weakness. It's a fighting weakness. It's a rock weakness. Is it a ground weakness? I don't know if it's a ground weakness. Fire, fighting, rock. I think that's it. If there's any more, I might... Steel as well. Okay. So we got fire weakness, fire weakness, kind of fire weakness, because it's got heat proof. Fire resist, fire resist. Rock weakness. Rock resist. Rock, I think rock resist, maybe. Rock resist. Uh, fighting. Hmm. Fighting is kind of a problem. Because you're neutral to it. You're neutral. Oh, no, you resist it. Okay, no, you're neutral to it. Um, you, I think you're super effective on you. Dang. We needed, like, a psychic on this Perlin. <laughs> That'd be nice. You're neutral to it. So, that's not good. And then what was the other one? Steel? And steel, we got resistances for days. So, I think I'm going to hold off for now. Uh, on adding you to the team. But that was a nice chunk of story. So we're going to go back in the Pokemon Center. Why am I going outside? What am I doing? We're going to end it off right here. That was a good chunk of story that we did. We hatched an egg. We got Shadow in here. I don't think you guys have met Shadow. But Shadow is Ben's black cat. And she is amazing. But she's a little shy. So I don't think I'm going to pick her up and show her to you guys. Because like... I don't want to make her scared. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, I hope you did, by the way. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a subscription and never miss an episode. Feel free to leave a like. That would mean the world. Whenever I see likes happen, whenever I see a video with likes, it's like, people like this. I'm going to keep doing it. Even when I see dislikes, it's like, people cared enough to watch the whole thing and have an opinion about it, so that's cool, too. Um, and then when people subscribe, oh, it's like, I like scream every time the subscription, subscription, subscription number goes up. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, have a great, honestly, have a great day. I say that at the end of every episode, but I truly mean it. Have a wonderful day. And remember, I did it again. I go over the bevers today, and then I'm like, you know what? That's it for today. No question of the day. I don't think they would like that. <sighs> question of the day. It's going to be, what is your most prized possession? Uh, so basically, what would you miss the most if you lost it? Um, I think for me, there's... I don't... Like, material-wise speaking, I don't really... Like, I guess my computer would be? I don't know. Like, like that's material-wise. Uh, like, relationship-wise would be Janelle. Uh, and, like, Ben and all my other friends. Uh... Obviously, my salvation is number one, um, but I can't lose that. Can't do it. So I guess that's um, exempt from this question. You guys might be able to hear the game uh, volume in the background. It's in my headphones. I turned off the recording of the audio. I don't know why I'm telling you this right now, just a little inside. But the mic sometimes picks it up from, like, inside here. So <laughs> have a good day, guys. And remember, light up the night.